the Rock Band 3 set list. Who's on it? Is it good? Is it bad? Does harmonics have it right or have it wrong? Well, I will reveal the 83 song set list and give you my opinions of what I think at the same time right here on Cena's Corner. Cena's Corner. World's number one rhythm game reviewer. All right, so as you can see below me coming up to the screen here, it is revealing the 83 song set list. Now, some of you may have already known what this is, and some of you may not have seen it at all. Of course, uh, I waited until it was officially confirmed. It got confirmed by the video that Harmonix made, the little joke video made about the leak. So this is a confirmed 83 song set list. So I want to talk to you guys real quick while this uh, set list has been revealed so you know what I look like. So keep your eye on the set list, and I'll tell you my opinions on the set list, what I think, if I think Harmonix has it right or wrong. So let's start off with the 83 song set list and what people have said about the set list. All oh, this set list sucks because there is no thrash or there is no metal. What happened to Dream Theater? Oh my god, this is the worst set list ever and Guitar Hero has it all over Rock Band. Well, that is you guys who says that opinion and I respect that. But let me give you mine. Let me first start by trying to tell you what I think Harmonix does, what they do, and why their set list is the way that it is. I commend Harmonix for keeping their set list the way that it is underneath all of the scrutiny that they've come because they don't uh, people don't feel they have a lot of thrash or rock or anything in there let me remind you that rock band one was full of rock rock band two was full of rock heavy metal and thrash music even to the point to where a lot of people didn't even attempt the endless set list on Rock Band 2 because of the fact that you had to take on Painkiller, you had to take on um, Visions at the end among other songs. The reason why I believe Harmonix keeps their set list the way that it is is because they got the big picture. They are trying to appeal to the audience that is outside of the box. See, all of the people that's listening to this video right now, a lot of you, and a lot of you on YouTube, and a lot of you on the Rock Band forums, you guys only see us, the gamers, the people who play this all the time, the people who upload videos, the people who do reviews, the people who sells gear. And then you get into this mindset that we're the only ones. Well, Harmonix is looking at the people that's outside of that box. We have 40, 50, 60, and 70 year old people, sometimes 80, that plays this game. They're marketing to the hundreds of thousands of people that is not in our little box. So for all of you that say this set list is the worst thing, it is not going to go anywhere because it has, don't have enough rock music or thrash music or speed metal or whatever you want for you. Remember though, there's hundreds of thousands of other people that's out there that's buying this game because it does have Jimi Hendrix, because it does have The Who, because it does have Queen. Because it does have many other bands that came back in a time that a lot of you watching this were not even alive or just coming into the world. Okay? So, with that being said, I'll move on to this point. See, Rock Band, in my opinion, has always been the wrong name for this game. If you go back to Rock Band 1, they had forums and councils, and they made many statements of what this game was for. It is you that choose not to listen to what was said by the developers. They never said that this game was going to be full of thrash music. They never said this game was going to be full of heavy metal or punk or rock or whatever. They said this was going to be a music game that was going to share all genres of music across the board with everybody who's listening or who's playing the game. They told you there would be pop music. They told you there would be jazz. They told you that there would be hip hop. They told you that there would be many different genres and the only thing they wasn't focusing on was rock, punk, and heavy metal. But as some of you who don't wish to listen to that, and you go on the fact that the name of the game is Rock Band, and feel like that that's what it should be. Activision has this all backwards. They cut out over half of their audience. The only reason why I will have the game is because I'm a video game reviewer, but I guarantee you after I'm done with it, it won't get that much play. I am not a heavy metal person. I don't like a lot of thrash music. That's just not me. Well, a lot of 40... 
50, 60, 70, and 80 year olds is not going to play Guitar Heroes either because of the fact that Guitar Hero is going back to their roots as they call it and your whole soundtrack is thrash. Who wins? Well, before I tell you my opinion of that, let's move on to one other thing you may not know. Now, Ryan brought this up to me, but I had already known this fact because I, it was all over Twitter and I went to Rock Band. What do you guys think is the number one downloaded song across Rock Band ever? And it's not what you guys probably think that it is. For those of you who don't know it, this has been confirmed. It's on Rock Band. You can look at it wherever you want to go. The number one downloaded song is by Lady Gaga called Bad Romance. Wait, wait, wait. That ain't punk rock. It ain't heavy metal. It ain't thrash. It's pop. That is the number one single downloaded song ever in rock band right now. Number one. So what I'm trying to tell you is get used to it. Because along with your punk rock and your thrash, you're going to see Justin Bieber show up. You're probably going to see Justin Timberlake. You're probably going to see Snoop Dogg finally make it. You're going to see a lot of other people that you may not agree with coming to this game. The fact of the matter is, is I think that Harmonix is evening it out. All Rock Band 2 was, was a heavy metal and a thrash fest. But wait a minute. You guys act like that there is no more thrash, no more punk, no more rock, no more anything. I have almost 600 downloadable songs out of what I think is what, the 1100 that is out? I can tell you I haven't even played 5% of my DLC content. Now let's add on Rock Band Network. I don't have as many of those, but I have quite a few. If those of you who have a lot of DLC, I'm talking about over the 1 and 200 mark, and you tell me you played all of them, I'm going to say you need to find another pass, another pass time because you're playing way too much Rock Band. However, I don't think that that's happening. So when you transfer Rock Band 2 into Rock Band 3, all your favorite punk and rock and heavy metal will be there. You, people also act like they're never going to give you another pop, a punk rock band or anything. They just announced Disturb is getting ready to come out with a few more tracks for Rock Band, along with, um, I think the name of the band is We Are the Fallen, which is comprised of three of the ex-members of Evanescence, along with um, Carly Smithson, who was a finalist on American Idol. If you guys remember her, if those of you who watched the show, she was the girl that was heavily tattooed, and she had a very uh, rough voice. Uh, that was made for the kind of music they produce, okay? So, here's my final thoughts on the set list. You guys need to give this set list a chance. If you just don't like it, don't go buy it. Because I'm just going to be honest with you here tonight. Do you think if you don't go buy a game that Rock Band is just going to say, West it, we're dead? No, because I just told you. You're looking at those of us that's in this box, in this circle, that is called the Rock Band Community. The rock band enthusiasts, if you will. The people who make this game known to others because we play and we put it on video or we have fan sites or whatever. You're forgetting about those people that is buying it for the family experience that Harmonix wanted to create. For the frame experience that Harmonix wanted to create. The people that don't want to compete and don't care about FCs and don't care about pathing and don't care about if they hit activation the correct way. That's who we are marketing it to. That's who's winning. I think when it's all said and done, Rock Band is still the most untouchable game that's out there. I think that this is, again, I'll say it, I think that the better, the Activision, uh, better choice is to stick with, the, with DJ Hero, too. I think this is their better choice this, this year. Somebody said you can't have a good game without a good track list. There are several games out there, Guitar Hero, Activision has made, that had an excellent track list, in my opinion, and it failed. Okay, I thought Metallica had an excellent track list. Didn't do what they wanted to do. I thought DJ Hero 1 had an excellent track list. Failed. Okay, so don't give me that you got to have all these songs for it to work. I do agree that the songs do make you want to buy the song or buy the game, but look at all the other stuff. Look at the graphics. Look at the modes. Look at the sorting. There is no other game out there that sorts your music. First of all, there's no other game out there that has as much music as Rock Band. There's no other game that's, that's going to sort your music and give you all the crazy modes that we're going to talk about in my final video that I'm going to make about Rock Band Guitar Hero coming up in a few days to a week that they have.
if you give this sound list the sound track a chance there's a lot of stuff on this set list that I like one of them is I when I was at E3 I said to harmonic teammates that I hope you guys have imagined on this set list of course he didn't tell me but it's there there's a lot of fun songs sorry guys I'm old okay I'm 37 so there's a lot of songs in this set list that I like I like Bohemian Rhapsody something's wrong with you if you know music history or you want to learn music history Rock Band is the game for you and that's what they want to do with this set list the set list from Rock Band 2 and the set list from Rock Band 1 they want to take all of you who are, who are our younger generation I'm talking to all of you now that's between the ages of let's just say 12 and 21 and give you music that you may not have been exposed to while you was growing up because music was changing as you was coming up so I think this set list is going to be great there are some bands on this set list I don't like. There are some bands on here I've never heard of. But I'm going to tell you right now, there are bands on here that I would have never walked into a store and picked up and listened to if it was not for rock band. you got to have an open mind when you do this. Okay? So, everybody wanted to know my opinion on the set list. I decided to give it to you while the set list was rolling. Uh, so, that's my opinion. I think Harmonix has this right. I think they're marketing to the right people. The number one ever, the number one downloaded song ever across the board is a pop song, not a rock and a thrash song. So that kind of shows me that the thrash audience is a little bit smaller in this game than what everybody thinks. If you do watch the videos, you would see that the people majorly that puts videos up of heavy metal thrash songs are the younger kid, the younger kids, the 14s, the 15s, the 16s, the 17 year old. Maybe it's because you guys are the ones who have the stamina that can handle this stuff, or maybe it's your generation that likes this particular type of music. I'm not trying to come down on anybody's musical choice. All I'm trying to tell you is, is there is no reason to complain about this set list when Harmonix has done everything that it can to make sure that you never have to see a song you don't want to see anymore. So if you don't like pop rock, don't buy it. If it came on the disc, you can block it. Just go into the new feature that they have, give it all thumbs down, and you'll never see the song again. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed the set list. Um, I hope you guys give the game a chance, and I hope you liked what you saw. If you have any comments for me, you know how to leave them. Right down below on this video, you can reach me at Cena at Cena's Corner.com. Also, you can reach me at uh, on Twitter at Cena5401, or you can reach me on Facebook at Cena's Corner. All right, guys, so that's it. So until next time, peace, love, keep rocking out, and we're going to catch you guys next time. Cena's Corner, world's number one rhythm game reviewer.